Yo, what up everybody? Just wanted to make a quick video to see what you guys were going to say about this topic I have. Um, first I want to say, damn, last night I had fun. I went out to Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut. It was really fun. Got home like 2 a.m. I'm really tired and I'm still in bed. It's 9.15 and I got, I woke up at like 8. So I've been in bed for a long time. I just haven't wanted to get up. If you see, I'm still wearing like outdoor clothes because I'm so tired. Last night I fell asleep. I was like, no, I'm not, not changing. But yeah, um, I was I've been I've been thinking about like this topic, and I want I want you guys I want you guys to know um, well I want to know what you guys think about it. So all of you guys that have jailbroken devices like iPhones and iPods. First of all, why do you have them jailbroken? Second, think about it. Is it really necessary for them to be jailbroken? Now, the reason I say that is because when the iPhone 4S jailbreak came out, I got so excited to have it that I just did it. Now, when I did it, I did it the hard way through Windows CLI command prompt, and it took a while to do, and it wasn't really that hard, but it was like way harder than like just using Absinthe, which wasn't even released yet. Well, and... Like, I have my phone, and what I have on it right now is, it has Winterboard with a theme, SP settings, like the color keyboard, and stuff like that. And a couple different apps, like iFile, and things like that, like, and I'm trying to figure out, like, do I really need it to be jailbroken? Because, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. I just. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Like, should, do you do you do do you need to be jailbroken? Like, is it jailbreaking a must, or has Apple really just taken care of um, most of the things that you get when you jailbreak, so now you don't have to worry about it, and you don't even need to be jailbroken anymore? Um, the reason I say that is because right now my brightness is set all the way down, like all the way down on zero zero brightness. So it's like really really dark, and with zero brightness. I can manage to have my phone on 17 hours standby and about 3 hours and 5 minutes usage and it's at 42%. So I'm thinking, the brightness is supposedly the, what kills the battery the most, but having the brightness on zero still only gave me 3 hours of usage and I did get 17 hours of standby which is, all, is good, but still put me less than 50% battery. And I barely even used my phone. Um, all I did was take pictures yesterday, which I guess that's kind of a good amount of battery using. But I took some pictures and I texted a little bit. So and I and I browsed Facebook and Twitter a little bit. More mostly Twitter just to like quickly tweet something and then get out of it and Facebook to actually browse for a while. I just feel like that like my battery was better before I broke because like I know that mobile substrate add-ons like Winterboard uh, or SB settings. I know that they will use a good amount of battery, but like not horribly much. But like the only reason I like jailbreaking is for Winterboard because I love theming and for Safari. I mean Safari and for SB settings. So like I couldn't just like say okay I'm gonna jailbreak but not have Winterboard. Like that's stupid. And I'm not gonna use um Dreamboard because I think that's stupid. I don't know. I don't like Dreamboard. It just feels like fake to me. Like Winterboard's like your actual home screen customized. Dreamboard's like a separate home screen that you like you like have. I don't know. I don't really like Dreamboard. Um so yeah, that's like my little question. Like, do you think that jailbreak is a must or do you think that we should not have a job with Dice Jailbroken anymore because iOS five take care takes care of it? Alright, so that's my question. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, and lastly, I want to say, today I'm going to my dad's job for the first time. I'm going to his work area because he's going in for like four hours only today. And he's like, yeah, you should come. So, so I don't know. And I have a lot of homework. And, um, I don't know. I'm not excited. Actually, I just realized something. I'm going to go play some COD. Because I haven't played COD forever. I played COD yesterday for like 20 minutes while I was waiting to leave for Connecticut. 
So, I haven't played for a while. I think I'm going to play some COD for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, probably. Then eat some breakfast, and then at 11, 10.45, I'm leaving to go out. But yeah, state your opinion. Should I stay jailbroken or not? I feel like my war battery is worse jailbroken than not, because I feel like if I put my brightness to zero, I should have like at least two days of battery. Like at least two days with zero brightness. It's such a pain. I'm telling you, like in the car, when I, there's, I picked up this girl with me to go to the casino last yesterday, and when I picked her up, I was trying to text her. I was trying to be like, all right, come outside, because I was there. Like car pulled up. I was there ready for her to come in. And like... I couldn't like like I couldn't see the screen and I had to like put my I had to like lean down underneath the seat to like get enough low light so I could be able to see the screen like you know that's such a pain in the ass so it's like I don't know it's not really worth it because it's like it ruins the usability of your phone so to have to put your brightness to zero to get decent battery life and I have like gone to the shut off location things I have shut off the diagnostics I have shut off. So searching for weather, I've done like I've like fetching mail to off. I've done all that too, and it, it doesn't really make a difference. I still have crappy battery, so I think I might on jailbreak because I might say stock, and I don't know. Give me your thoughts. Peace, and as always, have a nice day.